Hey guys, what's up? This is the Backbencher. I know it's been long. I know that. Today, we're exploring natural lighting in Vire SketchUp for interiors. Here, I have a kitchen scene from one of my projects. The link to which is in the description. Just a little crash course before we start the journey. There are three ways you can naturally light up a modern. One, using the sun. Two, using the GI and 3 using the background and also using all of them together there we go I also added the clouds so let's get the ball rolling let's start so here every other light is off only the Sun is on don't be afraid to make some tweaks on your own so here I'm trying to set the intensity correctly so adding the value it just burns the eye and you can see the light really blasting off from some of the surfaces that's not good so at times like this to make some adjustments you can change the exposure value from the main settings in camera choose exposure and change the value tweak it according to your requirement this looks good to me so here I am seeing really harsh shadows that's not good it looks unnatural so let's try again we make some tweaks from the size multiplier so tweaking the size multiplier you will get some realism in your lighting so for one it shows some blur on the edges which is quite close to the reality for five it's absolutely blurred away the image for ten now it's getting more and more diffused so this allows you to set the tone for your natural lighting either a soft glow or a really harsh sun and real time render allows you to experiment till you are satisfied at 100 there is a diffused glow there is no sunlight anymore it looks like a cloudy day and at 150 it looks like a GI map which we will explore in some time let's take some renders at size multiplier 1 we see that the grass on the window has clear shadow a little bit blur but the window size is visible shelf is visible at size multiplier 10 now we see a different story the grass is completely gone now the shelf still has some shadow but the window is blurred at 50 we lose all the details only some highlights and at 100 complete loss of detail complete loss of contrast all the geometry is visible so in conclusion size multiplier allows you to set a mood for your lighting for a sunlight that is now let's explore the background light now by default background is supposed to be on but here we are using it in isolation it usually works in tandem with the sunlight and because of that wherever the Sun is supposed to strike in the harshest manner you will see a faint yellow glow this is because the sky model is on in the maps this is a lot of unimportant jibber jabber and don't worry if you don't understand just keep in mind that background usually works with the sunlight we can also replace the sky with real cloud images or city skylines this makes your renders look more realistic coming up next skylight or GI imagine if there is a light dome around your model and because of it all the geometry is lit up but for this scene because the window is the only way the light can come in the geometry gets lit up from that direction so as you can see here there is a subtle difference between skylight and background now it's time to explore all of them together let's see how they work in tandem so let's begin the real-time render fired up first set the sunlight according to your will I would like to see some realistic blur on the shadow edges let's see now for the background I would like to see a skyline or some clouds in the sky because this kitchen is in an apartment so we already have a downloaded image from the internet we'll use that as you can see here the skyline is loaded the blue color is visible but 
there's no texture. So let's make some settings. In the map settings, go to UVW. And in UVW, set it to environment. And in map type, set it to screen. So as you can see in the window, there are clouds in the sky now. Now from here on, it's all experiment. Let's tweak the GI and everything else and see what works for us. Now, if we switch off the GI and the sunlight and just have the background, we'll see that the image is offering little to nothing for lighting the scene. It's mostly the white color of the clouds that's giving some light, which is not enough. So, switching on GI again, let's see how it works. Now, to get some tone of the sky, I'm using the same image that I used for the background in GI map. Using the same settings, let's see. Now finally, the sunlight will set the mood of the render. This is a little bit harsh and this is too soft. So again, just do some tweaks here and there and see what works for your mood. See what works for your tone. See what works for your brief. Frankly, this looks a bit like a Pixar movie. Reminds me of Ratatouille. I've made a decision. I'm going with some soft shadows, but not too soft. Let's take a render now. Let's see. This is a satisfactory result. The brightness is correct, the contrast works, all the geometry is visible, and the light falls perfectly. Next time, and I promise you there will be a next time, we will be exploring artificial lighting in V-Ray, step by step. If you found this useful, share it with your friends. Subscribe the channel, like and comment, this really helps the channel grow. Check out our channel for other such videos. Thanks for watching this till the end. This is the Backbencher signing off.